set in 1403 Bohemia, Kingdom Come Deliverance is an action role-playing game intent in being historically accurate in tone rather than being the standard power fantasy most RPGs tend to be. Made by Warhorse Studios, it's had a troubled development cycle. Announced in 2012, the studio took the Kickstarter to fund the game's development in 2014. Fast forward to four years later, and it teamed up with Dead Island and Homefront publisher Deep Silver to release the game. Is it any good? Well, yes and no. The first thing that hits you is its many loading screens. From an opening sequence that explains the backdrop to the game's events, to talking to an NPC, Kingdom Come Deliverance is fraught with loading screens. They're not particularly long, but they're frequent enough to take away from the immersion. Speaking of immersion, there's a lot to soak in. From its fresh setting to its intricate systems of plenty, Kingdom Come Deliverance has a lot to offer. Be it pickpocketing, a food and nourishment system, or the amount of sleep you need to be fully functional, no detail has been spared to make it feel real. It helps that the game doesn't overwhelm you with these intricacies from the outset, instead doling them out at a steady clip, tying their tutorials and understanding of them to quests. However, the tutorials themselves are simple grayed out overlays with reams of text. They're clunky in their implementation. Throw in the overtly complex nature of certain activities like pickpocketing and the wonkiness of others like lockpicking and you have a set of things while accurate aren't exactly fun to do. This extends to the combat as well. While cumbersome at first, it gets better as you progress thanks to the weapon variety and a welcome degree of depth that allows for last minute parries and reversals. There's a welcome emphasis on speechcraft too, and you can get through most of the game without lifting a sword. But given its nature, where your speech skills are pitted against those you're talking to, and you aren't made aware of your chances of success, it ends up being more random than you'd like. Kingdom Come Deliverance doesn't explain fail states like being poisoned, leaving you to wonder what you ate to cause your death. Coupled with these gameplay mechanics are bugs aplenty. From quests that outright glitch themselves midway, to cutscenes that have your character merging into others, there's more than a fair share of jank that makes Kingdom Come Deliverance feel like an alpha instead of a version 1.1 release that it is right now. An inconsistent frame rate that dips perceptibly indoors while remaining stable outdoors doesn't help matters either. Nonetheless, Kingdom Come Deliverance looks good on the PS4 Pro. Thanks to a welcome amount of detail in its environments, from sprawling castles to small villages and everything in between, as well as slick voice acting and witty dialogue, ensures that it's not a total mess. <laughs> well, Radzik, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It Throw in the aforementioned combat that grows on you, and a story that holds promise, and you have an RPG that keeps you glued to your screen if you can tolerate all of its technical concerns and gameplay issues. But as it stands, we recommend waiting this one out until it gets a few more updates. Buried underneath all these issues, Kingdom Come Deliverance is a serviceable RPG, but it's nowhere close to what it could be. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned to gadgets360.com for all things gaming. Hit the notification bell to know when videos go live. Follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And check out our weekly gaming show, Talk About Games, as well as our weekly podcast that goes in depth into the world of gaming transition. Thanks for watching.